Hey guys, welcome back to the Furtado Group. I'm Ruben Furtado. So I'm just getting back from a meeting with a one of our mortgage brokers and he wanted to meet because he's actually excited about doing some work on his house and had some questions and I think I actually um, gave him some information he didn't want to hear. He was looking to find out whether he should spend money on the front facade of his house. Um, he had just purchased this house, great home, turnkey done, everything's done for him, but the outside was a bit dated and he wanted to spruce it up. So he was asking me, Ruben, should I do it? Is it a good investment? And if I did, what would I do? So the first question was, hey, are you doing this for an investment side or is it being driven more by the personal side? If it's the personal and it's something you and your family want and you're smart about how much you spend and what you do, sure, it's the right decision because you'll probably get that money back. From an investment standpoint though, does it make sense? And I said, I don't think so because let's just say you're replacing the garage, the front uh, fascias, and the front door, windows, railings, all this other stuff, at a minimum, you're probably gonna spend close to $50,000. And if you're spending $50,000, is that the best use of the 50,000? Instead, I think maybe it'd be best to actually purchase a property just outside the GTA. So whether you're gonna be, let's say, up on the Hamilton Mountain, and you can find a completely detached house there for under 500,000, put 10% down, and now you have a house that would be ideally around cash flow neutral, possibly cash flow positive, depending if it's a if you have a set in income suite in there. And here's why I think that makes more sense: is that if you were to, in a couple years, uh, decide that you wanted to move on to a bigger, better home, right? I'm re again referring to your primary home. Now you would sell your primary, and then you also have your rental property that if you decide to sell, and the appreciation in both those homes and the equity that you now have, in my opinion, will be far more than if you were just to spend the $50,000 in improving the facade. Because there's gonna be limits on what his neighborhood is actually gonna be able to sell, a house like his will sell for. So that was my answer to him. And I don't think he wanted to hear that because he was planning on being this house for a long time, which leads me now to another point. This was a young professional. He's done very well for himself in such a short period of time. And I think people's mentality and mindset is completely changing. I think a lot of it has to do with social media. Everybody doesn't is not content with what they just have. Their context is much bigger. They're always trying to reach their full potential. So I told him, I said, listen, do you really think based on how driven you are, you're gonna be in this house in the next five years, 10 years, 15? And if that's the case, don't think of this as for your ever home and you won't be so driven to spend that kind of money and doing things that necessarily are not going to be the best place of spending that money and so I said instead think of it this way if you make the right moves right investment that being his primary maybe doing some stuff to his primary that will increase the value things like that focus on lifestyle so if the inside of his house had let's say you know a lot of walls that would divide the space maybe it's opening up those walls because if you see a newer house it's very much open concept they're thinking of the family wanting to live in those common areas and not segregated by walls if you were to think maybe the backyard, the backyard is an area where you can actually do like a covered patio with fire pits, and waterfall features, things that again are gonna cater more to the lifestyle of people actually entertaining in their backyards. That stuff will have a nice impact in terms of the appreciation or forced appreciation. It will also stand the test of time that in 10 years, that stuff doesn't really get dated. Opening it up to space doesn't date it. Landscaping is one of the things that doesn't get dated quickly, but tile or a, a front facade could get dated very quickly. So that's a, a much better area for him to spend the money on his primary. But more importantly is thinking, hey, a couple moves out and then what is he gonna do with all this, you know, all this equity that he builds on those other investments and then go into maybe his final house and that could be his dream and his forever home. So I hope that information was helpful. If you guys like that, make sure to hit the, hit the like button. If you have questions, Make sure to put your uh, questions in the comment section below. And also hit the subscribe button if you haven't already done so, so you don't miss our future videos. And thanks so much for watching. Until next time, guys, take care.